getting excessive globi gases on the top crank, top head in the head there. The whole intake system is full of oil and um, and I lost power as well. So I'm gonna try and do a compression test on the cylinders, especially number two, cylinder two. It's always been a little bit. Uh, it felt like it was sounded like it was missing, like half a miss. So it's down in power. Hopefully with the uh, compression test we'll be able to figure out whether it's a head gasket problem, maybe a valve seal, valve not sealing properly, or a spring, or maybe a, a cylinder ring, compression ring might be blown. It's running quite a heavy boost as well at the moment, so you never know. So I'm gonna start taking off the um, spark plugs. Let me put this on and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. We'll see what happens. So I'm just going to start with disconnecting all these hoses. I'm going to take the hoses off here from the top. Disconnect all of them. Coils, the ignition coils have to come off because on the 7M engine, all the spark plugs are underneath this coil and they go under this um, this crossover intake pipe. This is over here that covers number number four cylinder four. You might need to remove that as well. One other thing to do with this car, with this, uh, with when you're doing a compression test, is to try and find the EFI fuse, the fuse for the EFI fuel injection, and disconnect that one, just remove it. That way you don't have fuel injection, so you don't have fuel entering the cylinders while you're doing a compression test as well. So that's a, one thing you need to do as well, remember that one. I'll do that later when I get to it. Telling you now so I don't forget. Okay. This engine had a lumpy idle before and it was overheating as well and it's always been overheated since I've had it. It had a very old radiator so I've, just, I've changed that, I've changed that, I put a new radiator into it, took it for a long test drive, the car ran really, uh, the temperature was gone, it wasn't overheating anymore. Just, just worked very good, but the, but the lumpy idol was still there, and it, feel, it feels like a half a miss. And I've, we, I've located, I've, I've identified where roughly where it was coming from. It was main, mainly noticeable on cylinder number number two. So whatever's wrong with this engine, with that lumpy idol. Mostly cylinder, cylinder two could be a, could be a valve that's not sealing properly. It could be a head gasket that's blown on number two in that area. It could be a could be a piston ring compression ring that's blown out from all the all the boots that I've been putting into it. Yeah, so as I said, uh, this engine is running about 15 psi. Sometimes I see it go to 16, but yeah, roughly about 15. I think it might be too much for it. After my long test drive, I noticed there was a lot of blow-by gases in the intake, in the air filter. Like really dirty. I'll show it to you. Yeah, 
Look at that. That's all the oil. There's oil inside there. This filter's all covered in oil. It's dirty. Where's a good portion? Look at that. I just wipe it off and it just comes right off. I found oil dripping under the car. Excessive blow by gases. So we'll see what's caused it. I hope it's not too serious. 7M GTE motors are known for blowing head gaskets. So that's my biggest fear is that I may have actually blown a head gasket. And if it is, I'm gonna fix that. I'll fix that. Looking for my other two. But I won't be sh I need more information to finish this diagno diagnosis. So I need to check this compression on this car before I send it. And then I'm going to plan what I'm going to do with this motor. How I'm gonna fix it, what parts I'm gonna put into it, how much money I'm willing to spend on it. Obviously, I don't want to spend much money on it, I just want to enjoy the drive. So I've just disconnected all the coil leads and down here you've got these little connections for the signal for the power supply I guess. Uh, there we go. Just disconnect them carefully because it's an old engine. Having its this part sitting on top of the engine it gets very hot so all these connections I've discovered they're actually quite brittle so don't bend the wires too much don't pull on it let it move naturally okay so I've pulled out the spark plugs number one and number two I'm gonna pull out the rest as well. But first, the one that, that suspect is number two, which is this one here. Now what's interesting about these two is that when I look at them really carefully, number two here is wet. It's a little bit more wet, more oily. More oily than number one. Cylinder one is quite a little bit more dry a lot more dry but the oil field the oil soap because they um, got so much blow by going in there but I'm just suspect why number two is more wet than the other ones I'm suspecting the problem is actually coming from number two so I'm gonna do some more investigation on that so here we are I've got them all out now I've got them all out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Have a close look. See what you think. Number two is definitely. Number two has definitely got a big issue. I just don't know what that is yet. I have to interpret that. Right. Write to me if you know what that could be. Number six over here is the cleanest. And then they get a little bit more messy, dirty as it gets to the front. So the problem would be somewhere in between one and two. Nothing's wrong with these ones. It's going to be here. Because these ones, these two, these two came out wet. More wet 
than the other ones. I'm, I don't think it's going to be a valve because the valve is not going to affect the, the next cylinder. No. Number one cylinder, compression test done. I'm going to move on to the next one. There we go. There's the results right there. Let's go and do the next one. Cylinder two, compression test done. And there is a result right there. Low compression. Now I know why I've been getting a lumpy idle. Something's wrong with the compression. Now, I'm not going to even bother testing the other ones right now. Because I know the other ones will be good. Because, you know, the spark plugs are clean. They've been firing just fine. The main problem is right here. Let's find that out. I'm going to put some oil into it. See if it improves. Cylinder number two, compression test has been, I've done it now, so it's all done and complete. I don't need to do the other ones, as I said before. Look at the difference. With oil in it, it's gone that much higher. It's a lot of improved, that, that's changed a lot. So if you remember when I did the compression before, if before I, I did a compression test without the oil, it was 60 psi here, reading 60 psi. With the engine oil in there, it rose very rap rapidly. Went up to 260 psi on the gauge here. So this indicates that the problem is in the engine in the engine block, not the head. It could be most likely a ring, a, a piston ring, compression ring is let go it's broken or something or the pistons actually oh yeah it will have to be the compression the um the actual uh, piston ring has gone in this car in this engine needs a bottom end rebuild which means money 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 money